What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media. And lots of exciting gaming news going on right now. Uh, I want to tell you guys briefly that uh, we're only hours away from Destiny House of Wolves launching. And I uh, wanted to tell you guys that uh, you can actually get uh, some House of Wolves weapons dropping early right now in Salvage. So if you play Crucible mode right now in uh, 3 versus 3 Salvage mode, you can actually get a lot of actual weapons. You can also uh, get Passage Coins for Trials of Osiris, Motes of Light, and you know, other things and other rewards for playing Salvage right now. Uh, so if you can go on there and go play that real quick, you might get some cool new weapons before anybody else gets them and get them all hooked up with all the good stuff. I got my character hooked up. He's pretty much all set to go. Don't worry, I got the Witcher, you know, gonna take care of that too. Got to take care of that too. But right now, I got to take care of this right now. I got to see where this goes to know if I should dip out or not. Now, moving off from that gaming news right now, uh, we have got our first look at Doom's uh, actual gameplay. So Bethesda uh, actually came out there and they gave us a little 11 second glimpse into what the next Doom is going to be. They're actually going to do the reveal uh, at E3 in their E3 showcase. But yeah, we, all we really get to see is a you know a double barrel shotgun, which is part of the one from the past. You know the super shotgun, and then you know you also get uh, to see this creature with some cannons on his back. That's creative. Never seen that before. Woo! Cannons on your back. Now, here's why I'm a little bit salty about this. You know, hopefully this is a great game. Doom has, you know, always been a great series going way back. But uh, we got to see some screenshots from the canceled Doom that actually happened. And we got to see that it was not a bad looking game. So, uh, you know, screenshots have been popping up uh, over the last couple of days. Uh, showing people what the actual previous Doom was supposed to look like before they canceled it. Uh, it was like a mashup between Call of Duty Killzone rather than like a basic new uh, Doom game. And he said, this game isn't very Doom. We need to go ahead and cancel this. And I'm saying, why? Why would you cancel this? Look at the screenshots, people. This is actually a decent looking game. Look at it. Okay, yeah, it's got a little revolution call of duty type thing going on with it hopefully it's not 100 percent call of duty but look at it it looks really good look dude's got an eye patch an eye patch serious things happen when you have an eye patch that's how you know he's serious he's been through some stuff because he has no eye now moving off from that gaming news right now and this one is a little bit weird microsoft is actually admitting that maybe Kinect is a little bit useless, or rather Phil Spencer. So uh, Phil Spencer admits that Kinect isn't really that useful. So he says uh, if you're playing Halo, uh, Call of Duty, it's not really a scenario that says, hey, I need a Kinect. So uh, he went through an interview with Games Radar, and you know he said the teams are continuing to look at ways in which Kinect can make entertainment experience better. I say in that arena hasn't really landed, and I don't know if it really will. Uh, is Connect integral to all the core gaming scenarios in our console in terms of minute-to-minute -minute gameplay? There are uh, genres where Connect works really well, but if you're playing Halo Call of Duty, then it's not really a scenario that says, hey, I need to connect. What? I am shocked. They said Connect is really not that useful? That's crazy. You can, you can use it for um, talking to it. You, you, you can say stuff like turn off and you can um, Skype while you're playing a game so people can watch you while you're watching them, watching you. Look, Phil, look, look, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. We don't blame you. You weren't in charge. It was somebody else. Someone else who made that stupid decision. <laughs> We can't get rid of Connect. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, we can't. So we don't blame you, Phil. I mean, everyone loves you. We love you. We just hate those other people. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holla at y'all later. Thank you guys for watching my whole entire episode. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button, and after that, go to my Stone Fox Media store. Get cool things like shirts, iPhone cases, you name it. Uh, even got mugs. There's nothing in there.